Just check my emails. Couldn't handle it. It's full of spam. Hey, is that a cat? <laughs> no! It's a vlog! Should be fun going to Costco! I've never been to a Costco before. So I was heading to Costco and little did I know this whole place was an outlet shopping centre so now it turns out I'm going to an outlet park instead and then I'll go to the Costco after. I actually have no idea what I'm doing here. You hear that one, so that's a voice for you. I guess you'd call this place a women's paradise. Outlet, clothes, shoes, anything a girl would want. For me, on the other hand, I'm not getting a lot from it. The only thing I'm getting is a lot of looks from the random Japanese people. He's got the look. He's got the look. He's got the look. Oh, who's this crazy guy talking to himself? So, I'm being frank with you, but that shop's just a little bizarre. Oh, this guy gives me the shiaties. I must say, the disappointment level is at a maximum. So Costco can be the worst store I've possibly ever been to and it will still be better than this. There's gotta be one store in this whole place that I can have a look at. So let's try and find that one shop. Just suss in the Puma store. Can't even say it right, Puma. Puma store. I was able to pass an entire two minutes in that store, so that's my record so far. I've been here for about, I don't know, half an hour, if that. Pretty woeful. So I think the only place that I can go to from here it's Costco! Everyone's going to the outlet, little do they know. If you're traveling by yourself and you're a guy, you're gonna have a woeful time. Luckily for them, they were with someone and they were all women, so they probably enjoy themselves. I think for now, I'm gonna go trolley free since 93 and head through the entrance and see what. Oh, this is already better. The first thing I can see. It was at that moment where I realized I had made the biggest mistake. However, I hadn't travelled this far not to make it inside, so I was going to do anything it takes. I completely forgot you need a bloody membership to get into Costco. Go to walk through the front door, and the woman's like, Oh, show us your membership card, thanks. And I'm like, fully flustered. I'm just like, oh, sorry, let me just go grab it for you and run away. I had no idea what to do. I just leg it through the exit. Unfortunately, I made it inside, but I'm not going to be able to buy anything because you also need a membership card to buy stuff. <laughs> but even so, I'm just going to take a look around. Buy it, use it, break it, fix it, trash it, change it, melt, upgrade it, chart it, point it, zoom it, press it, snap it, work it, quick, erase it, write it, cut it, paste it, save it, load it, check it, quick, rewrite it, plug it, play it, turn it, rip it, drag it, drop it, zip, and zip it. At the very least, at least I got to have some fun getting in and enjoying what's inside here, even if I can't buy anything. I've arrived to what I think is the grocery store, although it could just be a large KFC, judging by that sign there. Don't really have any idea what I need or want, so it's just a bit of a browse and save, I think. This is what I came for though, cereal. I'm not lying, I'm for cereal. Oh, it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. Crossless sliced bread. What do you do with the scraps once you're finished? You chuck them in the cabbage bin. Oh, I got some gossip for you. It's pretty juicy. You get to be joking. So you know why they call pens and pencils stationary goods? It's because they can't move. Alrighty, I think that's it for now. I've got my haul, just got to pay for it, and then I'll be on the trek home. So, that's it for another week, but stay tuned because there's going to be more videos coming soon.